That is how short my natural hair dread is. Are you joking? That's actually crazy. Hi guys, welcome back to another dreadlock video. So today I'm going to show you how to stick an extension onto the end of an already made dread and I'm also going to show you how to bulk out a dread because where I have extensions some of the dreads can get quite weak in the spots where the hair is attaching to the extension. I've noticed a few of my dreads have got a few weak patches so I want to show you how to do that as well. I think when your hair's wet it's a bit weaker and it seemed to be that this little dread of mine decided to reject this portal little dread of mine and i found it on my sofa so that's good but luckily i know how to doctor dreads which is good so with that i'm going to show you the example of this one here as you can see it's very 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 thin here so that just needs a little bit of extra hair and this one here i will pop that back together again so <laughs> what you're going to need today is you're going to need some extra hair and i've actually got a pre-made dreadlock extension here and a pair of scissors so what i want to do is i want to start off with this dread here and we're gonna attach this dread to this ex this dreadlock extension to this dreadlock that is attached to my head i do think some of this is still extension here because the hair is just really not great you're gonna need a crochet needle as well obviously so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pull apart some of this hair because i need it to be loose so that it can wrap around the hair that it's attaching to. So if you just pull it up like this, and don't worry about all of this added bit of hair here, it is actually just extension, so it's just all loose anyway. I'm just gonna pull part as much as I can. Whatever wants to come out can come the hell out, because I don't care. So that's all done. Now I'm just gonna do the same with this part as well. I'm pretty sure this is not my hair. I'm pretty sure that's part of the previous extension that was in there. So if you see it all coming apart, please don't freak out. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. This hair looks absolutely rotten. Yeah, it looks rotten. By rotten, I don't mean like it's actually rotting. I just mean it looks completely dead. And I think it's because I was doing my own maintenance, but I was doing maintenance every single time on the whole stem of the hair, which isn't actually very good because if you do that, you are actually gonna probably break a lot of the hair. So realistically, if you're gonna have maintenance done, you need to get it done only on the roots regularly. And then when the hair starts getting a little bit out of hand and there's lots of loops and then consider getting maybe a couple of them pulled in because it can just yeah it's just too much see i think this was just all dead extension because that's not my hair i don't think it's oddly satisfying doing this better attach that extension before i get out of hand this is actually my hair now because it feels different well that is my natural hair <laughs> That is how short my natural hair dread is. Are you joking? That's actually crazy. Do you know, before I got dreadlocks, my hair was down here. It was like nearly to my belly button. I've nearly had them two years and that's how much they've shrank. Wow, that's actually mad, you know? <laughs> That is crazy. Anyway, we're going off track. So I frayed out the ends on both, like this, look. And now I'm gonna mold it back together. And I wanna make sure that there's a hard bit here and here. Does that make sense? So there's a fluffy bit, fluffy bit, and where the hard bit meets, I kind of want that, that to meet. I don't kind of, I, I want it to meet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the hair around the top of the dread from the extension, like so, and just start pulling it through. Get off track. This is extremely difficult to do. Look, it's already attached. Okay. Here's the dread. I've sewed a little bit on one side. There's my hair. And I'm just gonna wrap it around like that. Get the crochet needle, feed the crochet needle through. And as you can see, I'm pinching some of the hair between my fingers here. So you just drag the crochet needle through like that. And you pull it like this. Just feel the crochet needle between your fingers and you just pull. You can kind of feel the hairs getting pulled through. So that's come through there. So we want to fix this bit up here as well. So I like to pinch on this side because it's easier for me. Do you want to say as well guys like your fingers are gonna get caught <laughs> it's gonna hurt at some point so let's just wrap that up i'm just gonna 
and do it really quickly. solid now. I'm still going to go back and forth because there's a bit of a break here. Still a little bit. Can you see it separates here? So I'm going to continue to do the same as what I've been doing. Back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> So now that that's back on, I do just want to add a bit more hair to this section here. You can see where my hair ends and the extension begins. I just feel like this section is quite weak. So if I cover it with a bit of extra hair, I know it will be darker than my own, but I really don't care. It just strengthens that section. It just needs a bit of support, you know? I'm gonna add a bit of extension hair. What I might actually do, because we've already got hair out here, I'm just gonna cut off. So we've got some hair here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rub it in my hands, hoping to kind of mess it up a little bit, you know, make it into like a hairball. See, now it's in a bit of a smush. So I'm taking the mushed up hair and I'm wrapping it all the way around this area, the weakened spot. It doesn't matter how you put it on, as long as it's around it and you just wanna feed it through. And I'm actually trying to avoid going through my dreadlock as much as I can. And I'm just trying to wrap this around it. It's all about feeling it, you know? I don't tend to look when I'm doing it. I just like to feel how the needle comes through into my fingers and then I can feel the hook pick up some hair and pull it back through. I think it's really easy and I do believe a lot of people can just do it themselves. That's why just paying someone else to do it, you know, it's not always worth it when you've only got one like this, for example, you know, there's a way. There's red it's been through so much it's been so many places it's seen so much it's been with me through a lot test it's all good guys thinking it's looking top notch anyway yeah i'm happy with that i think if i want to tidy it up a little bit more i can but i won't do that now i feel like that's on pretty tight so i basically showed you how to do the extension add and also to add extra hair to part of the dread but we will do this side as well because you can see what i mean by that it just looks so thin and I'm really worried that it's gonna just pop off. But yeah, if I just bulk it out a little bit like this one, it will be gravy. That's why it's good to have just the one extension just so that you can kind of doctor things if you need to. Dr. Dreads, that should be my new name. <laughs> Dr. Dreads. So I feel like this is probably enough. Ready? Yes. Mm, yes. Anyway. Not into that stuff, am I? Let's rub it together. Look at the difference in that. Look how thin this is. She is small. She needs to be thick. Okay, I get this. I'm gonna wrap around. The good thing about this as well is you can just, you know, start off with little if you want to and then just work your way into having a bit more there. Lovely. <laughs> you can see that's already attaching itself now. So I will probably refrain from washing my hair for the next couple of weeks so that this kind of settles in my hair and I'll keep palm rolling it because it will help. <laughs> it's like multicolored and here's what it looks like after. I know it's a little bit scruffy right now but I'm just gonna leave it. Okay guys, so that is the final product. 
so i'm really glad that i could show you how to do that i really hope it was helpful and you are able to do it back home the crochet needle that i'm using is a 1.6 i've had this for over a year now and it still works really well yeah anyway guys i really hope that was helpful i hope it was insightful and hopefully you can do it now by yourself if you're enjoying my dreadlock videos and you're finding them really helpful then please 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 hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and let me know down below in the comments if you want me to do any more other dread videos if i haven't done them already i've got quite a few other dreadlock video ideas coming up so stay tuned for that anyway guys thank you so so much for watching i really really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart just remember to be kind spread love and light and namaste bye guys take care wherever you I just had my beautiful maintenance done by my sister, the queen of dreads. And if you haven't seen the video of me getting dreadlocked, go and check it out. I'll link it down below.